I know I'm supposed to come on here and talk to you guys about this hockey game and how Samsonov wasn't great. And we'll, we'll get to that. But I really don't give a crap about the result. I really could care less that the Leafs lost 6-5 in regulation to the Devils. It means nothing. But the only thing that Leafs Nation needs to be cheering for the rest of the way is one, stay healthy. Two, Austin freaking Matthews. He is two goals away from 70. He double dips today with goal number 67 and 68. Both gorgeous passes from Max Domi before fighting. Was that Simone Nemec? Just, I love it. Max Domi, a Leaf legend already and just mm, just fantastic stuff. And yes, they do lose 6-5 in, in regulation to the Devils. And the Leafs do fall to 46-24 uh, and 9 on the season. But who cares about the result? Austin Matthews is two away from 70. And shout out to James Myrtle for tweeting out this one. For everybody who talks about Matthews and talks about, and tries to go for a case against Austin Matthews, well, James Myrtle tweets this out. Austin Matthews is up to 51 even strength goals. No power play time, no shorthanded, no empty net. 51 even strength goals, which only seven players in the history of the NHL have done. Disregarding any sort of like, well, you know, this, this, this era of hockey. No, it doesn't matter. And also it hasn't happened in 31 years. We are watching something incredibly special. So enjoy that. In as meaningless of a game as this is for the Leafs, care very minimal about the result care a lot that Austin Matthews double dipped. Let's break this thing down. First period, it takes 18 seconds for the Leafs to get on the board. John Tavares have a nice little feed from Mitch Marner and he buries it and it's one nothing. his 25th of the season. Good stuff. Then Eric Howla, yeah, Samsonov doesn't freeze the puck and the Leafs got every Leaf on the ice is looking for the puck and watching and Eric Howla pounces on the rebound and buries it 39 seconds into the game. So literally, what is that? Like not even 20 seconds? Actually, 19 seconds after the Tavares goal. And we are 39 seconds into this hockey game, and it's a 1-1 game. Like, what's going on here? Five minutes later, Domi on the half boards. A gorgeous pass to Matthews. I don't know how he is was wide open as he is. Regardless, he rips this thing top cheese. And it's the Leafs regain the lead. It's 2-1. Matthews is 67th of the game. Or, no, no, no. Of the season. My God, that's a lot of goals in one game. Domi and Brody have the assists on it. And Domi yet again with a primary assist. In the top five in the NHL in primary assists. It's pretty crazy to see. Brody with the secondary. And you have a 2-1 lead. Good stuff. Yeah, a minute and a half. Or what? Uh, yeah, about, about a minute and a half after that. Is that Nolan Foot? Yeah, Nolan Foot scores to make it a 2-2 uh, a hockey game. And then Timo Meyer in the power play shoots one kind of right through Samsonov. So kind of an ugly one there. And then Nolan Foot one was a horrific giveaway from Gio. And you're down 3-2 just over halfway through the first period. Now where you want to be. That's how the first period ends is 3-2. Devil shots on goal over 12-7 in favor of the Leafs. We go to the second period. And what, about eight minutes in. Again, Max Domi finds Austin Matthews in front. And he's got body position on his defender. Great job from Matthews to get in front, to get his ass in front of the other defender. But Domi's pass on a dime, right to the tape. Matthews just redirects it. Didn't even shoot it. Redirects it in the net, into the net for goal number 68. Domi and Burt grab assists on the goal, and that line continues to buzz like crazy. And the Leafs have tied the game at three. Less than two minutes after that, after I can't remember who it was, gets absolutely buried into the board. Shocked there was no call. David Camp with a nice little nice little hands in tight as he goes to the backhand, gets Jake Allen to go down, then goes back to the forehand and kind of wraps it around him. Beautiful goal from David Camp, his eighth of the season. Connor Dewar with the lone assist there at 9-16 of the second period. The Leafs regain the lead. Back at 4-3 advantage for the Toronto Maple Leafs at this point. And then something crazy happens, and I love every second of this. You see Nemich kind of go after Matthews. The stick gets a little high as well. Matthews even gives him a couple shots. And then you see Nemich kind of skating towards Matthews in front of the net. And you see Domi cut him off and is like, this is not happening. You ain't going to him. We are dropping the gloves. And he does and beats the living crap 
out of Simone Nemec as he goes down. And Domi gets the 5. I think he had the 10 too and he was gone. Let me just make sure of that. Uh, yeah. Domi had 2 assists. was a plus 1 and had 19 pims. Gotta love that, man. Oh, he, 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 Brad... Sign the sign the contract, please. Like these guy, this guy bleeds blue and white. He's what Leaf fans love. He wants to be here. Keep him around. I'll be, don't go too crazy with it. But regardless, fantastic stuff, and the Leafs still lead it. But then with 12 seconds left in the second period on the power play, Timo Meyer scores, and we're tied. Not great. Not great at all. Then you go to the third period, and again, on the power play, Jesper Bratt scores to give them the lead, and I think that was the one that went right five-hole on Samsonov. Just not a great... I mean, it was either that one or... No, the Jesper, the second Jesper Bratt goal um, was the was the one that they just kind of barreled down on Samsonov that, from, the, from the right side, and Bratt's coming on from the left, and the Leafs' defense was a little soft there, but Samsonov just kind of looked a little shaky, and it just beat him clean. It's not a great goal. And, uh, by the way, Tavares scores a second of the game. I mean, whatever. You know, Riley, nice little pass in front to JT who buries it and ties the game at one point, right? You're down 5-4. Tavares scores with five to play. Riley and Marner with the assists. And you're like, all right, we got a new hockey game here. It's 5-5. What a great hockey game. Yeah, with a minute 14 to go, Bratt scores and that's curtains. But who really cares? Shots were 10-6 Leafs in the second period. 10-7 Leafs in the third 32 to 20 for the game. They played a great hockey game. They really did. It's just Samson kind of stunk and he didn't get the saves. Like, that's the thing, right? Leafs and also special teams. They were three for four. Leafs were 0 for three. Right? Killed you. Absolutely killed you today. Uh, we go to those player stats. Samson have allowed six goals on 20 shots. Yeah, that's pretty awful. A save percentage of 700. An awful night for Samson uh, some really bad goals. I, I didn't like quite a few of them. The five hole one, like I was talking about, um, did not like which which goal was that? The Timo Meyer, I think that was the one timer on the power play. Was that the late? Uh, yeah, the the first period goal. It, yeah, he was coming across, but it went underneath his arm. It went through him, and you don't you never like to see that. The Eric Howell goal, you want to freeze that puck, and if you're not going to freeze it, you got to be in your crease, be ready to make another save, and he wasn't. You know, it just wasn't a great game from Sammy. Uh, the defense, look, they didn't help him out, obviously, but your goalie's allowed to make a save. So, there's that. Uh, key players, John Tavares, two goals and a plus two. Matthews, two goals and a plus one. Kemp had the goal. Uh, Marner had two assists and a plus two. Domi with two assists, plus one. 19 pims. Love it from Domi. Uh, where are we? Morgan Riley had an assist. It was a plus three in a 6-5 six, five, six, five loss. Keep an eye on that, Leafs Nation. Burt. Dewar and Brody all had assists in the game today. And uh, that's all she wrote. And as much as I can sit here and be upset because Samson didn't play well, the over team overall played pretty decent. They scored some goals. Matthews got two. That's the big one. And we move on. We're one game closer to the playoffs. That's kind of where I'm at here. And Leafs Nation, wouldn't it be perfect on a Saturday night at home, original six, get the Red Wings in town. And if you look at the standings right now, the Detroit Red Wings, let me just refresh the page here. They are... Oh, they haven't updated it as of yet. But they have 85 points. They are tied with the Capitals. But with the Penguins beating them in overtime, they're one point back of Pittsburgh with three games, uh, two games remaining. Two games remain, right? Because both of those teams played tonight. They played each other. So the Leafs on Saturday night can beat the Red Wings. And I don't know, is Pittsburgh playing on Saturday? I assume they are. Uh, they're playing Boston in Pittsburgh. But if, they win, if Pittsburgh wins... And the Leafs beat Detroit, and Matthews can find a way to score 70. On a Saturday night, you eliminate Detroit. Matthews gets a 70, and he probably rests one of the last two games. It would be a perfect way for our Saturday night to go. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and Austin Matthews tonight, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. He has not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. Would you like, would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Maple Leafs? Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and of course, TikTok is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I'll talk to you guys. Raptors edition uh, tomorrow night, 7, hold on a minute, 7 o'clock tip off in Miami. 8 o'clock tip off in Miami against the Heat. Two games remain. Thank God for that. Uh, Jays wise, they play tomorrow in game one of the series as they host the Rockies. Uh, Ryan Feltner. And Kevin Gosman at 7.07 at Rogers Center. And as for the Leafs, they're back in action on Saturday as they host Detroit. Three games remain, Leafs Nation. Let's get through them.